Hello everyone, today I will be sharing with you not one but two simple and easy methods to create a dramatic fake long exposure effect in your photos. We will be exploring both the traditional method and an AI method and trust me, both techniques are surprisingly simple to grasp and use, yet the results can be quite stunning. But before we get started, let me walk you through why the long exposure effects are so impactful. When you see an image with a long exposure effect, you will notice that it has certain fluidity and dynamism to it. This is because the long exposure effect simulates the movement of elements such as clouds, water or even lights over a period of time, which creates a sense of flow and energy that can't be captured in a regular snapshot. So are you ready to learn how to achieve this effect in Photoshop? Let's jump right in. First things first, let's isolate this guy from the rest of the image. To do this, go to the select menu at the top of your screen and choose sky. This handy feature uses advanced algorithms to detect and select the sky in your image. You will notice the selected area is now outlined with a matching and pattern. Next, press the letter Q on your keyboard to enter quick mask mode. You will see the non-selected area is covered with a red overlay. This is your visual cue that you are in quick mask mode. It's a really useful feature to make precise selections in your image. Now let's fine tune our image. Grab the brush tool by pressing the letter B on your keyboard. Then press D to set the foreground color to black. This is very important because painting with black in quick mask mode will add to the selection. And don't forget to set the hardness of your brush to 50% in the options bar at the top of your screen. This will give you a nice soft edge. Now gently paint on the image to extend the red overlay onto the sky just a bit. By doing this, you are taking the resulting sky selection away from the areas we don't want to be affected when we apply a filter later on. It's a subtle step, but it can make a big difference in the final result. Once you have adjusted your selection, press Q again to exit quick mask mode and now you will see the red overlay disappears and your refined selection is active once again. Now let's work non-destructively by copying our selection onto a new layer. To do this, simply press Command J on your Mac or Ctrl J if you are on PC. This handy shortcut copies your selection and pastes it onto a new layer above the original image. Next, go to filter menu, choose convert to smart filters. This will turn your layer into a smart object, which allows you to apply filters non-destructively. Then navigate to filter, blur, select radial blur. A new window will pop up with several options. Now change the blur method to zoom and set the quality to best. This ensures you get the most dramatic and high quality results. Now increase the amount to around 50. This might seem high, but it's just to make it easier to see the blurred center in the preview area. Here is a crucial step. Click on the center of the preview window and drag it straight downward or left or right to the very edge of the preview window. This is where you get to control the direction of your blur. Just imagine you are adding a sense of speed and direction to your sky. So Think carefully about where you place this center. Once you've done that, adjust the amount again for the sky. I tend to use around 10, but feel free to experiment to see what looks best for your image. Then click OK. And there you have it. You have just created a dramatic fake long exposure effect. This technique is a fantastic way to enhance your landscape photos and make them more engaging.
All right, let's jump into AI method of creating a long exposure effect in Photoshop using the generate to fill feature. This is going to be fun and best part is it's easier than you think. But first up, make sure you are using Photoshop version 2024 or later because the generate to fill feature we are about to use won't work in older versions. So it's crucial to have the latest version. Once you are all set with the right version, open the photo you want to work on in Photoshop. Now open the quick mask options. Simply double click on this icon to open and select masked areas. Then click OK. This is a very important step, so make sure you don't skip it. Next, navigate to edit, fill and select color. You will want to select a 40% gray color from the color palette and then click OK. At this point, your whole canvas will turn red, but don't panic, that's supposed to happen. Simply exit the quick mask mode by clicking on the icon that looks like a rectangle with a circle in the middle. Now click on generate to fill on the contextual talks bar. In the dialog box that appears, type long exposure cinematic sky and click on generate. Hold on and wait for a few seconds while Photoshop's AI works its magic. It will produce three different variations of the long exposure effect for you to choose from. If you want to explore further, you can generate more variations until you find the perfect one. Once you have chosen your favorite variation, you might notice that the effect is applied to the entire image. No worries though, we can easily fix that. First hide the newly generated layer, then select the background layer and go to the select menu and choose select sky. With the sky now actively selected, delete the existing layer mask and apply the layer mask again. So that's it. Now the long exposure effect is applied only to the sky. And there you have it guys. You have successfully created a stunning long exposure effect in the sky of your photo using AI generative fill method in Photoshop. It's that simple and results can be truly breathtaking. Let me know in the comments which method you prefer to use in your photos and tell me why you like this method. And that's all for this video friends. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the subscribe button and give it a like. Do you have any questions or feedback? Leave them in the comment section. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, happy editing.